Good day folks. I'm out here today. I'm at an old site. It's uh, probably 1890s, early 1900s. I've been here a couple times in the past and just sort of got a few odd clips. I got that uh, cedar shingle hatchet out of here and just a little manganese shaker. But it's already been dug. But one of my regular viewers and commenters, uh, Tiffany Richards, suggested I come here and sift. And it never occurred to me to do that, but it did occur to me to do it in other places. I don't know why I never thought about this one, but it's actually a good spot to do it. There's a rose right there, just over the bank here. I don't have to lug my gear very far, and uh, I think that's a great idea. So I'm going to try sifting around a little bit. Oh, there's a little, little jar right there from last time I was here and digging. Got a flash crack in it. Looks like there's some uh, fabric of some sort in there. Might be manganese glass. Anyways, that's kind of cool. So I'm going to get started. I'll get you back up if I find anything. Nothing. Well, I stopped sifting for a bit, folks. Wasn't having any luck. However, I started digging. Got a little patch started here, and I've got one bottle here. Let's check that out. Ah, oh, the corners busted off it. Fred Watterson's Druggist, St. Stephen, New Brunswick. Oh man. Nice big one too. Frick. Well, I'm going to keep it just for the sake of having a token bottle from here. <laughs> All right, we'll keep plugging away. Okay, I got another little one peeking out right here. <sighs> Is it gonna be whole? <laughs> I got my fingers crossed, but <laughs> so, let's check it out. Uh, there's a whole one, but it's just a slicker. Huh. Well, there's that. Well, just nothing really but commons coming out here, folks. Got a nice little manganese glass jar. Screw top style. This nice shard come out. Got shamrock whiskey, Glasgow. Lots of nice old shards, but no uh, real good bottles yet. Anyways, I'll keep this manganese jar. Well, there's another nice food jar, folks, and that's manganese glass as well. That was right on the surface. Almost put my hand on it. I'm accumulating a few bottles here, but there are nothing, uh, no real, real good ones. Got a couple things in there too, I'll show later. But uh, just while I got, yeah, I see a couple bottles over here too on the surface. Let's check those out. Manganese glass 
jar broke. And this broke. Okay. Later. There's a heartbreaker, folks. Top sheared off that one. You can barely make out the embossing on it, but it's a uh, uh, Schreiber, Schreiber Brewing Company, Buffalo, New York. That would have been nice. Schreiber Brewing Company. Heartbreaker. Next bottle just rolled out, folks. It's a Chesabro Vaseline. Possibly manganese glass. I can't quite tell. It could just be that fine uh, dusty dirt on it. But uh, it was a good opportunity to say that this, when you find stuff like this, all these common bottles, it's a, and broken shards of good bottles, but that's all you're finding is the broken ones, it's a pretty good indication that it's already been dug before. So that's just a little tip to hang on to if you're out looking around and digging around. If you're new to the hobby. Alright, I'm going to get going. Here's something interesting that just come out. Let me get focused here. Well, it's topped one of those big food jars. But it's got one of the, the lid is a uh, insertable. And it's metal. There we go. Check it out. I assume they would have had like a cork or something in them or some sort of different top. I wasn't expecting that. That's interesting. Must have just pressed down in and might have had some sort of cork around it or something. Neat. Well, I got a cobalt blue piece out of here, folks. Check it out. Nice piece. No idea what it is. It says Germany on the top of it, but I'm thinking it's possible I also got this piece here out of here just recently. It's possible that it was the uh, lid or cork to glass stopper to whatever this was. That's a nice thick piece of cobalt blue glass there. So it's quite possible that was the glass stopper to it. I don't know. I'm going to keep it anyways. Nice piece. Okay, folks, I got a bottle in the hole. Looks like a case of gin. Probably not going to be able to see it. It's right there. Now, if this is whole, I don't know. I'm going to be impressed. It'll be the only whole bottle, good one that I pulled out of here yet. Oh, my word. It is. It's complete. Awesome. Dominion glass. It's a machine made one. That's why. That's why the old diggers didn't want the machine made ones. Anyways, nice find. That just made my day. I'll keep it. Yep. Well, I got what looks to be thread it stopper in the hole here. Right, uh, right here. Yep. Well, well, that might be as good a look as you're gonna get. This trademark on it. There we go. Nothing on that side. Huh. Well, I'll 
I'll keep that. Well, I'm getting whipped here, folks. Like I say, there's just not much here. There's lots of slick food jars, and like every one of them appear to be manganese glass, so that's nice. I'm keeping every one I get. So this here just come out. That's a nice shard. It's a Dr. Kilmer's swamp root, kidney liver, and bladder remedy. First time I've even seen a shard of these digging. I know other people dig them up once in a while, but this is a first for me, so I'm going to keep that shard, actually, and put that in my shard box. That's a nice little shard. Okay, folks. I dug a pretty good hole in the side there. This is what I got out of it. Um, a few different relics. Lots of jars. Uh, at any rate, they should uh, color up nicely in the sun, turn nice purple. A few bits and pieces. Oh, that's some cobalt blue. And uh, so if you want to see this stuff cleaned up, stay tuned. Uh, I'll do a clean up slash uh, wrap up portion of the video right after this. So see you shortly. Good day, viewers. Thanks for joining me here for this uh, portion of the video. Uh, hope you're all doing well today. Now, this site here. Uh, I think I had a few clips from it, maybe I put in a, a previous video, but this site has obviously been dug before, but I did get some glass out of it and some nice manganese jars out of it, and uh, this time I tried my hand at sifting it, and I didn't have a whole lot of luck sifting, so I just went straight into digging and set the sifter aside. Well, first off, I don't know if any of you recognize one of these bottles, it's a more modern one, and uh, now this is uh, an ibuprofen tablets bottle. It's for uh, it's extra strength, and it's for muscle and joint pain. <laughs> if anybody anybody seen one of those before? <laughs> I see these around quite often. <laughs> All right, so anyways, getting right into the finds here. I got a couple of these ones like this. There's a nice interesting pattern on the base of them. And it's a manganese glass. And this one appears, it appears to be, uh, well, the seam comes up to here, and I don't see any seam at all up on the thread part of the bottle. But, anyways, it's uh, at least partially blown. That much we know. Some nice bubbles in it. And here's another one that's pretty much exact same. It's got the same base on it. Manganese glass. Lots of big bubbles in it. And uh, there's a couple other ones. Just They're just slick jars as well. Screw tops. No patterns or anything on the base. Here's another manganese glass one. It's an interesting design around the base and shoulder of that one. One big bubble in it. And it's a screw top jar as well. I love getting the manganese glass ones. Now just uh, as an example, you can see the, these ones here are manganese glass. This one's manganese glass. This one is not. So you can, you can kind of see the difference in the color just from here. This one's not. These two are. Um, this plain one here is just, I don't know, that would have been maybe some olives or pickles or something. It's an interesting little bottle. I thought it might be manganese glass, but it isn't. Ended up getting a Vaseline bottle, very common bottle. Find lots of those around. Next, I got this honker of a local med bottle, Fred Watterson Druggist, St. Stephen, New Brunswick. And I've recently found one in a previous video. I don't know if it was one video back or two or three videos, not very long ago anyways. And it was just a miniature one, which is what I normally find. And I'm not sure if this is the exact bottle or not, because I have several that I've found. But this is uh, the normal size I find, Fred Watterson. 
St. Stephen, New Brunswick. So you can see the size difference there. Well, this is a honker here. The corner was chipped. I put a piece of tape over it just so it doesn't uh, don't cut myself or anything there. Safety reasons, I guess. But I'm going to hang on to this just because it's kind of unique since it's so large. Next we got three spoons over here. I soaked this one in CLR and uh, look how nicely that cleaned up. It was silver plated but it's still nice without the plating on it. Turned out really good actually. Alright, and uh, the other two, I just kind of cleaned them up a little bit. I didn't uh, soak them or anything. Got a couple shards here. We got the Dr. Kilmer's Swamp Root Kidney, Liver, and Bladder Remedy. First time I found one of these shards, that's why I kept it. I'll put that in my shards box. And uh, next we got, let me set that there, this honker of a cobalt blue shard. It's the base to a big jug. It's quite thick. It's going to be a, it's a quarter inch thick anyways. And I suspect this stopper went to the top of it. Whatever it was. And this stopper just says Germany on it. And the stopper is in mint condition. No chips or anything out of it. Nice little find. And speaking of stoppers, here's another one. Get focus there. You can see that. This has a. Uh, this is Schrader's and Sons. Patented it September. I think it was 27. Right there. September 27, 1892. Now some folks are saying online this is a. Uh, it's either a canteen stopper or a water bottle stopper and then someone else is suggesting it may be something of the in the nature of like a a human orifice cleansing part <laughs> so I'm not going to go into any more detail about that <laughs> got these two rings they cleaned up pretty nice I don't know if there's some sort of curtain rings or what they are but they're nice little brass rings and then this lid here that's in uh, excellent condition as well. Find lots of lids, never really find the jars to go to them, or if I do, they're usually broke. So that's going to be it for this one, folks. I hope you enjoyed the dig and uh, the finds, and hope you all tune in for the next one. Should be some uh, good stuff on the next one. So, oh, geez, I almost forgot. This here is a bone toothbrush. Check that out. First time I found one. Yeah, almost forgot about that. So there it is. There's some writing on it here. It didn't uh, narrow down the age or anything to it, though. That's pretty cool. Alright, folks. Like I say, over and out. Catch you all in the next one.